Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube family? It's Goose the Poet. Yeah, you know it. Back at it with another video. We're doing some NASCAR heat. Doing video number two. I'm here with my woman. Your woman? We're just gonna jump right into it. First season, full time, gold mine racing. I did the car, I did everything. We got the engine, the suspension, all ready to go. And it's ready for the first race. Las Vegas. Oh my God, my car does not turn. My car does not turn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. This is bad. Babe, this is not good. Ladies and gentlemen at home, this is not good. Mm -hmm. We are about to finish last every single race. It's because you suck. It's because I suck. My girlfriend's gonna leave me. Exactly, you want to leave this room. No, if don't. If you don't win a race, I'm leaving this room. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard. Why is that to be so hard? You're bad. <laughs> oh, it doesn't turn. It doesn't turn. I'm sorry. Babe, is it bad that, like, when I run into AIs, like, like fake drivers, I feel bad. Yeah. You could crash into real people. I know. My car does not turn. Damn, this sucks. I believe in you. Babe, I don't even believe in myself. Babe, it's okay. I believe in, I believe in you enough for both of us. Okay. What if you let me down and it's kind of going down? Oh my god. Faith is going down. Oh my. This is so bad. What oh place my. are you in? 20 second. Oh. <laughs> Out of 24. Oh. Yeah, not good. Oh, that was a good corner? No. Come here. I need that position back. I got a family to feed here. Yeah, we're getting a cat soon. Yes, we're getting a cat soon, babe. We're adding a child to our family. Yes. Oh, there we go. 21st. Progress. I need to pass one more person now. Hopefully somebody can like blow an engine or something. I think we're catching him. Babe, we're catching him. Catching him? What place are you at? We're in 21st. <laughs> Babe, it's hard. <laughs> this is hard. But we're catching people. I think. Okay. We know when you're in third. Babe, there's no way. There's no way. Not yet. Babe, this is the beginning of my career. Oh my god, this is bad. Do you have any reasons though? Yeah, I think I do. You got the white chocolate? Do you like that? Mm. I've never had it. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't let anyone pass me. Like nine people just passed me. Oh. But they already passed me before, so it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, I need help. I'm still watching this video of our incest. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm catching them. Oh my god, please. I need one more spot to get my cash bonus. How am I supposed to feed my cat? Your non-existent cat. How am I supposed to feed my non-existent cat? I need to pass this dude. They need subscribers so we can get a litter box and a cat bed. Yes. Exactly. Oh my god. This is so bad.
No. Come on. Come on. I feel like we're so close, but yet so far, you know? <laughs> Babe, like, they're right there. They're right there in front of me. And like, awesome. I can't, like, I'm not fast enough. Oh my. Damn. 21st. <sighs> we were one spot away from that bonus money, so. Looks like my cat's gonna go gonna go hungry for a few days, but hey, Tennessee Rover's gonna be back at it, back out there. I mean, we did we did snag a decent four grand. Twenty um, first in the points. It's not looking good, but hey, these careers never start off that great, so. You gotta go hungry. I know. I did get four thousand dollars though. I got four thousand dollars. The noise that makes. Let's see, summary. Hey, I got seven fans. Shout out to the fans. Oof. Sloppy driving. That's tough. No. That's tough. Babe, I got a tweet. A tweet? Yeah, from Caleb Stevenson. Who's Caleb Stevenson? I don't know. He's for Play Fast Motorsports. Hi, Tennessee Rover. Welcome to the Extreme Dirt Tour. I hope that we can be friends. Oh my God, Caleb, you sweetheart. You, you sweetheart? Sh you shouldn't have. Oh my God. Oh, a hot seat? This is what I've been waiting for. We could use your help driving the number 10 truck at Texas this Friday. Get a top 25 finish and we might consider working with you in the future. Oh. Yeah, that 2500 I'm gonna need that bag. I got a family to feed. A family to feed. I have a family to feed, and we're in Texas, baby! We got a family to feed. Guys, I'm excited. This is the first Truck Series hot seat. We gotta smash it. Alrighty. Alrighty. So here we go. Qualifying at Texas. I'm in the young Jennifer Jo Cobb mobile. Hopefully we can get a little P25 start or better, but I don't know. Her equipment obviously isn't that good, but going into turns three and four for the first time. And I think honestly, like at this track, you can really just leave it all open. You don't have to break it all. Probably when the tires start to fade, you're gonna have to like ease your way into the corner and find different lanes. But for qualifying, I could just I could just hang it wide open, which is which is pretty nice. You don't have to really do anything that technical. Tennessee Rover, there we go. We beat the goal. Twenty first. It's a good start, strong. Babe, I got twenty first. I got twenty first in qualifying. But, I mean, now I'm starting 19th. That's, that's better. That's better. Yeah. better. Alright guys, so we're, we're starting 19th uh, in the first hot seat. So, I mean, hopefully we can we can get that, that P25 finish, but I don't know. Hopefully I just don't get taken out in the middle of the race or something like that happens. Let's see here. Hopefully things don't 
stack up in this in this first turn because I know a lot of the times I guess in the in the old NASCAR games I used to play it would always stack up in the first the first turn when the race would start but it looks pretty good here clean here I'm gonna give Boyd a little push Ooh. There you go go on the inside I'm just cruising, Kit. All right. Can you get a little, little draft off Natalie? Young Natalie? Honestly, the, the draft in this game is so important, honestly. Because that's, that's how I'm getting these runs right now. I'm just locking on the people in front of me, and it's, it's giving me a lot of momentum. This guy is sponsored by Carolina Nut. Yo. I'm gonna try the high line here. Oh, not a good move. Not a good move. We're gonna go back down. Oh, this is bad. Infinger? Babe, would you still love me if my name was Infinger? No. Wait, okay. first name or last name? Either. Mm. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could marry you, my last name would be Infinger. Yeah, I know. That would be good. Oh, three wide. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Three wide. Oh no, I got slippage. I'm sliding up the track. Babe, I got slippage. Get that nice push on the back stretch. Tires are hurting though. That is. Honestly, like, right now, I'm probably going to start to fade a little bit. My right front is really faded. Maybe we could try to do another line. Probably going to have to go into the corner a little bit easier. Yeah, that's something I that have to do. Sheldon Creed give me a nice push, though. Thank you, Sheldon. Oh, no! Oh! I almost lost it all. <laughs> Babe! What? Are you laughing? Yeah. Sheldon almost just crashed me, bro. Sheldon, you bad dog. Sheldon. You dirty dog. You dirty little dog? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty dog. Honestly, I mean, I'm just cooling. Like, I'm in 13th. I just have to get 25th to get the money. So, I mean, I guess I'll just kind of coast it out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chastain with a nice little push. Oh, no.
Another close call there. Honestly, like if I could just if I could just hang around with these guys, that'd be that'd be awesome. And Chastain left me. He left me to go draft in finger. That's tough. I mean, halfway in, looks like we got 13 laps in of 37, so, I mean, my, my tire's, like, halfway cut, so I gotta, I gotta really be careful. I gotta really, really be careful here. Hmm. My car's still driving pretty good, though. Hopefully we can make it stick here, past Ben Rhodes again. Slide up. A little slide job action. Honestly, I really like how this, this NASCAR feels. I know that in in previous NASCAR games, the AIs and how they would act and uh, you know things like that, it wouldn't really be that realistic. But that slide job pass was pretty realistic, so I was liking that for sure. What I'm not liking is my tire situation, though. really tell my tire is about to about to go here not good not good Forty percent. Hope it holds up. I only got what eight laps left for estimated fuel, so I wonder, you know, maybe if I if I pit early then I wonder if that, that would be more beneficial to me because I'll have fresher tires earlier. But I mean we'll we'll see, I don't know. I'm not gonna pit yet. 36% though. Really getting loose. Really getting loose eggs in the corner is kind of scaring me. Oh, hang on to it. Hang on to it, soldier. Thing is too though is like I gotta remember, I don't really have to finish that good. I just have to finish 25th to get that that hot seat. So I know that um, I really don't have to be fighting for position with these guys. But it it is just you know awesome to to run up front though because in the dirt series I've been running the back most of the time. Oh. 
Oh man. Higher symbol, thank you for reminding me. I might pit in a lap or two here. We'll see. I should have, I mean, my pit stop is probably going to be pretty slow too because, uh, you know, Jennifer Joe Cop's pit crew probably isn't going to be that fast. So um, hopefully we can, we can pit um, and still have, you know, the time advantage on our hands where. Uh, we still finish in the top 25, so. But 16, I'm probably, yeah, I'm going to do one more lap. Oh, caution. That was perfect. Yeah, I'll pit for sure. That was a perfect caution. That was just what we needed. No repair. Yeah, we'll accept. Advance. 13th. Didn't lose any any spots, so that's that's awesome. Yeah, we should we should definitely get this top twenty five if if nothing crazy happens. Alright. Hey, maybe we can get a top ten, who knows? Honestly, I mean it's just kinda like this it's like a ten ten lap dash to the finish, so I'm just gonna leave it all out there. Tate Fogelman, good run for him. Good to see him up there. Oh. Time to go. Yeah, the car's really sticking to the bottom on those fresh tires. I like it. Oh. Yeah, with that high line, though, they get that, that amazing run off the corner. Looks like this is probably where I'm gonna gonna hang around for for the rest of the race. I mean, I can't really catch those guys ahead of me. Maybe if I get a, a draft or something like that, I can pull up to them. But it looks like things kind of evened out here. I'll probably just stick around tenth. I mean, that'd be amazing if I got if I got tenth in in Jennifer's vehicle. That'd be awesome. Oh, kind of watch that. Yeah, it looks like I lost the draft here, so it's definitely gonna be definitely gonna be hard to uh, to catch them for sure. Tires are holding up good though. Everything's holding up good, so Moffat looking low. Well, I'm gonna get past here by a few guys. It looks like. Wow. Just gotta be really careful here. Make sure that uh, I don't I don't get spun out or anything like that. I can't can't risk losing the hot seat. I'm honestly probably just gonna sit in the middle here. Three wide. This is awesome. Look at this. Three wide. Probably just let these guys go, honestly. They have, they have faster cars than me right now at this point of the race, so probably just gonna let them go. Yeah, 
even if I, I get the draft with with Moffitt, I can't really, um, you know, pull in. I do make a decent amount of ground to entering the corner, but uh, on the exit, they, they really just pull away, especially if they're racing that high line. to go here so I mean 13th not not bad not bad at all still hang in there with these boys though Ekis and uh who's that there Moffitt I mean this is this is awesome I'm sure Jennifer whoever she is uh you know at home or you know with COVID out with the the COVID-19 virus. I mean, she'll probably be super happy with this finish, honestly. It's interesting too. I know that I've noticed this in the in this this NASCAR heat. Um, as the race goes on, it's cool to see the the AIs. Um, uh, kind of pick different lanes as as the race goes on. You know, I mean, Ekis was just running that low line for the longest time, and now I see him, you know, switching it up, going to the high line. Now he's back to the low line. I think that's really, really awesome to see that because it adds to the, the realistic aspect of the game that I think that we've all really been, been wanting to see. Looks like we got, we're good on tires, good on gas. Got one lap to go coming up here, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Ooh, am I gonna have anything for him? Nice, no, he's gonna get that run on the, on the high line, yeah. Entering turns three and four, Tennessee Rover impressing the audience and all of his fans back home with a top 15 finish, finishing 13th in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. What a run, what a run. 13th, I can't, I can't complain. I mean, we finished in the top 25. We got the, the hot seat money. I think it was like 2,500. Uh, so we can use that to help build our... Uh, our dirt series car and I'm sure that Jennifer would be uh, she's really happy with that finish honestly so all right so back at the lobby here 13th we got the the 2500 um, for that that race team that we're trying to build on the, the extreme dirt tour which is awesome and then we also got 21 fans as well so that's that's a really cool thing to see uh, up to 47 fans Nice job with that top 25 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next year. See, the weird thing about that is like, so if I were to take this ride, like Jennifer Joe Cobb, this is like her only car. So would I just be racing for her and she just retires like, and she'd be an owner? That, that'd be kind of interesting. It'd be kind of dope. All right, Austin Wayne Self, Tennessee Rover. Heard you're looking for a team to sign with for next season. And just wanted to say good luck. It's competitive out there. Hashtag hot seat challenger. Hey, Austin, I see you, boy. I see the work you're putting in. I appreciate you. So let's see. Next race probably going to be uh, Extreme Dirt Tour. Where are we at? Drebin. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna do the uh, the three top twenties. I don't I don't know if we can get four top twenties. I mean, honestly, let's just try it. You know, let's say screw it, go for the go for the the two top twenty or four top twenties. Okay, so we're gonna start the uh, second race here at the Extreme Dirt Tour. Um, 
this will probably be the last one for this video because um, I know we did the first race and we got that hot seat which was awesome uh, and now we're gonna do the second race at Drebin here so uh, we're just gonna hop right into it this is what the car looks like um, so we did some upgrades we got that second chassis um, we hired two more employees as well did some department upgrades as well as some employee upgrades uh, so we got the engine up to an 80 um, Aero 76, which before I think was only a 70, and then the suspension to a 77, which before was a, a 75. So hopefully, you know, we can get that top 20. We finished 21st last time, so let's hop right into it. All right, so we'll we'll start out with the qualifying. Honestly, guys, let me let me know if you know the qualifying is something that you guys want to watch. I mean, I might, I'm probably just going to cut it out. Um, I'll probably leave it for the, the truck series, but all right, guys, so I, I did the qualifying. It looks like that uh, we, we're we starting out um, 23rd. I did qualify last, but I think somebody had one of those engine failures or, you know, engine swaps, something like that. So starting on the inside here, I think I'm going to go with the approach of just hanging on the inside again. That, that usually works. Um, this this track is a, a really short track, so. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like we're hanging in there though, these guys. Top 20 would be awesome. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but see, they, they got that run on the straightaway, which is really gonna be hard. Oh, that guy, that guy's fast, Russell. I think that's the guy that qualified with the, the DNF or engine change or whatever. He started from the back. But yeah, 20th would be sweet if we could, we could hold on here. It's gonna be hard to hold though, they're coming. No. No, I need that back. I need it back, Hoffman. Jeez. If I finish 21st again, I'm gonna be kinda sad. Oof, went way too high there. I'm gonna have to let this guy go. Well, this is really gonna affect my my corner. Oh, I was able to get down though. I just can't let anybody get below me. I think when people get below me, that's when it really throws off uh, everything. Getting lapped again. Hey, bud, you're gonna have to go on the outside. Oh, look at that, Tony Stewart and Wood duking it out. Yeah, that was a good corner right there. That's what I needed. That was my fastest lap of the race. That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, one day, guys. One day we'll get there with the, the fast cars like that. <laughs> No, I think this one's for position coming up though. I gotta hold this guy off. Oh, hit the wall there, just kissed it. I just kissed it. Mm. 
No. Okay. We can let Hoffman go, but we can't let anybody else pass us. Which is going to be extremely hard, I feel like. Fingers crossed. Twentieth, I'll be happy with because we we still are in line to get that, you know, bonus if we finish four races in a row, top twenty. So hopefully we can get that. That was a great corner right there. I mean, we're hanging with Hoffman right now, but we just can't seem to get that run on the straightaway like he does. It's almost funny how much faster like the leader is. Like, it's lap 21 and he lapped me two times, which is kind of sad. But I mean, hey, we're just starting out, so I mean, you know, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Oh man, he just sent it in there. Jeez. If only a few more laps. Oh no, the dude is a uh, the dude who's in 21st is catching me here. Got what, one more lap probably. We have to hold them off. We have to. Man, I kind of faded at the end of this race. It was that close, but we got it. We got the 20th, 20th finish, so love to see that speed rating of a 90. Um, honestly, that's even though it's only a one spot difference from the last race, I mean, it's it's a good it's a good sight to see that we are getting the top twenty because that's that's crucial, especially for that uh, you know four race promotion that we need to hit um, four race bonus, I should say. So I mean, other than that, I think that I think that we are in the the right direction. We're going in the right direction. I think that gold mine racing is is headed in the right path. It's gonna take a long time, but you know you just gotta be patient, especially with with career modes like this. Um, I mean, twenty two hundred dollars too. That's that's awesome. Twelve new fans. Shout out the fans. I wonder if um, I wonder if during this this dirt tour, if the fans that I'm gaining are from people in the crowd. Or if it's just, you know, people people watching it at home because of all the COVID stuff. But, yeah, so, I mean, that was, that was a great race. So, guys, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it off here. Um, it, was, it was a great day of racing, though, honestly. I mean, the first race we got 21st, which was kind of disappointing. We didn't hit that uh, incentive contract. But, um, I mean, then we got that, that hot seat uh, for the truck series in uh, Jennifer Joe Cobb's car, which was awesome. We finished 13th there. Um, got the 2500. And then the third and final race that we did was the, the second race for our, our Dirt Tour Championship. And uh, we did get that top 20 after making some improvements to the car. So, I mean, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're going. If you guys have any any comments or suggestions for, you know, the paint scheme for the car, I've just been leaving it how it is from the first episode with the black and yellow and white, um, or the number, how the character looks, anything like that. You guys can throw that in the comment section. But um, you know, it was another another good day of racing, and as always, it's Goose the Poet. Yeah, you know.